Hello friends, this is Vaishnavi here. Welcome to Tech Accessibility Tutorials. So friends, in this video, let's discuss about Google Play Store tips and tricks. So friends, if you want my latest updates and videos like this, just click on subscribe button. Then you will get all my latest updates and videos to your email directly. So friends, Google Play Store has lot of tips and tricks which we need to know. So let's check it out in this video today. So I'm gonna double tap on Play Store. Play Store. I have double tapped on the Play Store and the Play Store has been opened. So friends, the first trick is about how to know the size of the application. So lot of people have asked me how to know the size of any application before installing it. So I have opened one application in the Play Store right now. PSC Winner the Learning App and the Sir Incorporated. Okay, PSC Winner Game. So I want to know the size of this application. So we have to double tap on read more to expand the description of this application first. So I'm gonna swipe right again until we hear read more. PSC winner. Hash one P I'm gonna swipe right again. Screenshot. I'm gonna swipe right again. Read more. Read more. So we have to double tap on this to expand the description of this application. So I have double tapped. Now I'm gonna swipe right again and again from the top of the screen until we hear download size. So let's swipe right. PSC winner. Hash one P I'm gonna swipe right again. PSC winner the learning app help you to prepare. I'm gonna swipe right again. What's new? What's new? Daily update of trolls is swiping right. Rated for three plus. Learn more. Contains ads. Ads are placed by the app developer. Version. Five. Updated on February 17th, 2017. Okay, right downloads. 5,000 plus downloads. Download size. Yes. Download size. So here we have to swipe right again to know the size of this application. 3.78 MB. 3.78 MB. So in this way, we can get to know what's the size of this application. So friends, I'm going to press back button to get to this Read more. screen. So friends, for instance, imagine this application download size is 50 MB or 100 MB and I don't have sufficient data to download this application right now but I want to install this application later when I have the sufficient data. So I want to add this application to my wish list. So because I may forget this application name or something may happen. So I want to add this application name and application to my wish list. So we have to double tap on include in wish list button. So I'm gonna swipe right. I'm in the application screen right now. Rated 4.6. PSC winner the learning app and the are incorporated. Okay, Rated I'm for swipe three. Right again. Image of app or game icon for PSC winner the learning app button. I'm gonna swipe right again. Include in wish list button. Include in wish list button. So we have to double tap on this include in wish list button. So the application is being added to my wish list. So in order to view the wish list, open Play Store, then double tap on the show navigation drop button, which is located on the top left corner of the screen. Then scroll down until you hear wish list. Double tap on the wish list. There you can see all the applications which you have added to the wish list. So if you want to remove this application from our wish list, just double tap on remove from the wish list. PSC winner the learn image of app or game icon. I'm gonna swipe right again. Remove from wish list button. Remove from the wish list. So I'm gonna double tap on this, remove from the wish list. So in this way you can add any application to your wish list. This option is helpful if you want to purchase any application and you don't have card add it to your Google Play Store and you want to purchase this application later. So in this way you can bookmark this application so that when you have card added to your Play Store you can purchase this application. Recording. Pause button. So the next trick is about how to update all applications at once. So we have opened Play Store and let's double tap on Show navigation drawer button, which is located on the top left corner. Show navigation drawer button. Yes, we have to double tap down this. And now we have to double tap on 
My Apps and Games. Type accessibility tutorial. I'm gonna swipe right again. Apps and Games. Apps and Games. I'm gonna swipe right again. My Apps and Games. My Apps and Games. Wait. My Apps and Games. Double tap on this. My Apps and Games. Here we have the updates of two or three applications. Updates and list app colon one note star rating colon four point one app colon peel smart remote TV guide star rating colon four point app colon WhatsApp messenger star rating colon okay we have three applications to get updated so I want to update all these applications at once so let's swipe right from the top of the screen installed selected no, no. Show navigation drawer button. Show navigation draw button. My apps and games. My apps and games. Search Google Play. Search Google Play. Installed. Installed. Selected. All. All. Updates Update. and list. Update all button. Here we have to double tap on update all button. Update. Update all button. So I'm going to double tap on this. Update all button. Downloading so stop. All the applications at once. So if you want to download all the applications, you can try this trick. And if you want to stop this download, just double tap on the stop button. Downloading. App call. Downloading. Downloading. Stop button. Stop button. If we double tap on Updates. this Up stop button, all the applications which are being updated will be stopped updating. Quit recording and talk back is pause button. So friends, the next trick is about how to view all the applications which you have installed using the same Gmail ID. This option is very helpful when you install some useful applications in your old device and you want to install the same applications in your new device as well. You can go to all tab in the play store and you can see all the applications which you have installed using the same gmail id. We should use the same gmail id which you have used in the old device and as well as in the new device. Then only you can see all the applications in the all tab. Of the play store so i have opened play store and let's double tap on show navigation draw button zero zip show navigation show navigation draw button is located on the top left corner now we have to double tap on my apps and games the third option here apps and games my apps and games my apps and games here we can see three tabs installed all beta so some of us may not able to see beta tab Anyways, we have to double tap on all tab here. So I'm going to swipe right again and again from the top of the screen until we hear all. Show navigation, draw my apps and games, search Google Play, installed, select all. All. So we have to double tap on this all. So friends, in this way, you can get to see all the installed applications in your old device as well as in your new device using the same Gmail ID. Pause button. So friends, the next trick is about how to update Google Play Store. We all know how to update any application. So let's learn about how to update Google Play Store. Play Store needs to be updated every now and then. So I have opened Play Store and let's double tap on show navigation draw button which is located on top left corner of the screen. Press show navigation draw button. So I have double tapped on it and let's go to settings we have to swipe up with two fingers and let's double tap on settings here settings and list so the settings has been opened now we have to swipe up with two fingers and let's double tap on play store version play store version version colon 7.5.08 okay we have to double tap on this play store version and if the play store has any updates if the, it starts downloading automatically and we just need to press ok button and if it doesn't have any update it says like this google play store is up to date we just need to press ok button ok button so friends in this way you can update the play store zero so friends the next trick is about how to stop applications updating automatically so friends, if the applications are automatically updating while we are using mobile data, our data will be unnecessarily wasted, right? So we have to change these settings in the Play Store. So I have opened Play Store and let's double tap on Show Navigation Drawer button, which is located on top left corner of the screen. Show Navigation Drawer. And we have to go to Settings again. Open Feed Settings. Wishlist Settings. So I have double tapped on Settings 
Here you can see an option called automatic updates. Auto dash update apps. Auto dash update apps at any time. Data charges may apply. Enlist. So we have to double tap on this auto update apps and here we can see three options. Do not auto dash update apps. Enlist. So this is the first option. Checked. Auto dash update apps at any time. Data charges may apply. This is the second option. Auto dash update apps over Y dash Y only. So this is the third option. So if we have Wi-Fi connection, we need to check on third option. And if you don't have any wireless connection, double tap on first option. That is do not auto update apps. Checked. Do not auto dash update apps. So I'm going to double tap on this. Do not auto update apps. So from now we have to update any application manually by going to play store and navigation draw button my apps and games and double tap on update all button Zero one. friends the next trick is about how to join as a beta tester of any application by a play store so i have opened facebook messenger in the play store messenger facebook top developer rated for three plus so i want to join as a beta tester for this facebook messenger so i'm gonna swipe up with two fingers until I here become as a beta tester. We have to scroll all the reviews and ratings, similar recommended applications list. So bat, apps, your top bat, 31,000, to no way. With two fingers. App colon, pre permission to privacy, sandy visit web page, but look, become a learn more, become a beta tester, try new features before they are made public. Give your feedback directly to the developer. So I'm gonna swipe right again. Learn more. I'm gonna swipe right again. I'm in. So we have to double tap on I am in. So it's asking me do you want to join the program? Join beta program? Because features are in development, beta versions may be unstable. So I'm gonna swipe right again. Cancel button. Cancel button. Join button. Join button. We have to double tap on this. Join button. Visit web page. Beta signal up in progress three period in a few minutes. You will be added to the beta program. You can then update the beta version of this app, if available. So within few minutes, it will be added to the beta program list and if beta update is available, you will be notified to update the application. And if you want to leave the beta program, open the same application and scroll up until you hear beta program. There you can see an option called leave button. Beta second open. Learn more. Learn more. Leave. Leave. So we have to double tap on this, leave, and it's asking me to, are you sure you want to leave? Leave beta program. If you leave, you might want to uninstall the beta version of the app and reinstall the public version. So I'm gonna swipe right again. Cancel button. Cancel button. Leave button. Leave button. We have to double tap on this leave button in order to leave the beta program. So friends, in this way, you can join as a beta tester of most of the applications via Play Store. So some of the applications Beta versions may not be available in the Play Store. It depends on the developer's choice. Zero. Friends, this trick is about how to share link of any applications through Play Store. So this trick is for beginners. So I have opened Facebook app in the Play Store. Facebook, Facebook. Top. So I want to share this app link to one of my group in the WhatsApp. So we have to swipe up with two fingers until we hear share button. So we have to scroll all the reviews and ratings and there we have to double tap on share button. I'm gonna swipe up with two fingers. Badges bar. Read more. Screw rating colon Average rating colon and 26,000. Slow loading. Video pro options but app will share read all reviews. Read all reviews. Share button. Share button. We have to double tap on this. Share button. Here we can see an option called WhatsApp. WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Here we have to double tap on WCG. Any group or any chat, and we have to double tap on the chat to select it. And we're gonna double tap on send button. Send button out of list. Which is located on right bottom corner in order to send the link to the particular chat. Send button. So, friends, in this way, you Search. can easily send the link of any application. To WhatsApp or Facebook or Messenger or to any of the applications. Zero. Friends, these are the useful tips and tricks of Google Play Store. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have doubts and suggestions, write in the comments. 
Please share it with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, Google+, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Leo.